Story Box presents. Are you there, Wolf? One evening, Big Wolf arrived home with no food in his basket. What would the three little wolves say? They were hungry and waiting for their meal. Big Wolf was sad. He said, "There's no dinner tonight, little wolves. I didn't manage to find any food. A woodcutter tried to chop me into pieces as I was picking mushrooms in the wood. A hunter shot at me in the cabbage field, and the farmer chased me away with his fork before I could grab any eggs. I've had enough for one day. I'm off to bed. I'll go and try again tomorrow. In the meantime, you must not go out. Do you understand? The three little wolves woke early the next morning. They were very hungry. The youngest whispered to his brothers, "I dreamed about mushrooms, cabbages, and eggs all night long. I'm hungry," said the second little wolf. "Really hungry." So the oldest said, "We can't stay here with empty tummies. Let's leave Big Wolf to sleep and go and see for ourselves if we can find anything to eat." The three little wolves tiptoed out, ignoring what Big Wolf had told them. They found some tasty mushrooms in the forest and gobbled them up. They kept watch, but there was no woodcutter about, only his axe and his cap on a tree stump. The little wolves forgot about the danger and sang at the tops of their voices. Woodcutter, woodcutter, are you there? We're gathering mushrooms. It's only fair. The oldest little wolf shouted, "Look, I've got his axe and his cap. Let's go." Next, the three little wolves explored the cabbage field. The cabbages were yummy. They kept watch, but there was no hunter about. Only his jacket and his gun leaning against a tree trunk. The little wolves stuffed themselves with cabbages and sang. Hunter, hunter, are you there? We're picking cabbages. It's only fair. The second little wolf said in a gruff voice, "Look, I've got his gun and his jacket. Let's go." Next, the little wolves fancied some freshly laid eggs from the farm. They kept watch, but there was no angry farmer about. Only his fork and his boots on a pile of hay. The little wolf sang happily. Farmer, farmer, are you there? We're collecting eggs. It's only fair. The youngest little wolf said in a squeaky voice, "Look, I've got his fork and his boots. Let's go." The three little wolves rushed into the hen house. The hens got a fright and began cackling to raise the alarm. Soon there was chaos. The woodcutter, the hunter, and the farmer were having breakfast together when they heard the noise. They ran out of the house with saucepans and knives in their hands. They were sure they would catch Big Wolf. The woodcutter cried, "Show yourself, Big Wolf! We know you're in there." Just then, a terrifying creature appeared at the henhouse window. It was big and hairy, and it howled. I have a fork, an axe, and a gun. Here I come. When the woodcutter, the hunter, and the farmer saw the horrible monster, they dropped their saucepans and knives and ran as fast as their legs would carry them, shouting, "Help! Help!" The three little wolves were very proud of themselves. They came out of the hen house. And set off home with their pockets full of mushrooms, cabbages, and eggs. Meanwhile, back at home, Big Wolf had woken up. He was very worried when he saw his little wolves were not there. Where had they gone? What if something happened to them? But just then, in came the little wolves and showed him all the food they had found. There was plenty to eat. But before Big Wolf let the little wolf sit at the table, he said, "Well, now you disobeyed me. You could have got into big trouble. You managed fine in the end, it's true. 
but in future I will be the one who goes looking for food. After that day, the three little wolves were never hungry again. Big Wolf was able to go and fetch food without worrying about being chopped up, shot at or chased with a fork. The humans were too scared of him. Sometimes Big Wolf and the three little wolves set off on a picnic singing, Big Wolf, Big Wolf, are you there? Yes, I'm having a picnic, so humans beware. The End